here's a couple of familiar Wii controllers, the Wii Nunchucks. And I've got those now connected into my Arduino. If we have a look up on screen, what I've had to do is I'm just using the serial read to get the values out of there because they're not the standard nunchucks from Nintendo. These ones are third party ones and they just seem to read a bit differently. But using the serial read, you can get the data out. So you've got X, Y, and Z. You've also got your joystick and your two buttons. I'm just going to connect this into my stand and show you what we've got going on. On screen there, you can see the 3D CAD model I've generated. And if I zoom out, you'll be able to see there's quite a bit of code that's built this up. So that's all the grasshopper code, and on the left is the 3D model. So what will happen is if I... So using two, re two of these controllers means that it's basically like a two-player game. So they have two people can work together to rotate the model around by tilting the Wii controllers up. So I'll tilt those forward again and the model will drop. And you can also tilt it side to side, spin it around just by rotating the controllers. So I'm not using the joysticks for this. And then using the joysticks you can actually control the density of that mesh. So if I move them both to the left you'll get a really sparse, absolute minimal mesh. So this is just like a light bulb design. And as I move those joysticks around, you'll get all sorts of different results. And just by holding your position, you can capture any of these and 3D print them out. So I've currently got six of these being printed out at the moment as a demonstration. It's quite a bit of fun to both move a model around in 3D CAD space, but also generate what that form is going to look like.